All right, we're back for Project E-Bike Rebuild Part 2. Part one, you saw me relace this. Now it's time to take everything off of this old bike and move it over. Just picked up the new donor bike today. No front suspension, but it's got fenders and a rack. And it's a nice, cheap bike. I don't plan to use it as my daily driver. This one here is my daily driver. First step is going to be to strip this old bike. say one quick note. Might be tempting to put the controller somewhere back here. I've done that before on another build and I've destroyed the controller through vibration. So I typically try to locate it somewhere central. Here, 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 maybe here, or on the central post. Now this new donor bike comes with a half grip shifter here, but the throttle I plan to use is a twist throttle. So I might be able to move this shifter all the way over. Then again, I might have to take this shifter off and just move to a thumb shifter. See, we got the brake pull levers and the throttle installed. Everything just loose for now. We do the final adjustment later and move the bell over to this side. A grip shift and a twist throttle oftentimes 
don't go together. And for now, this is just a temporary setup. It'll be awkward to shift, but I can still use it. I'm going to keep the grip shift. And later on, what I can do is order a thumb throttle instead of a twist throttle. What I'd really like to do is put it in here. I think it would be nice and out of the way, but it's just a little tight, and I think that this area here is going to interfere with the pedals. So what I want to do is I want to make it so that I can uh, I can wrap this with an old tube, and I can uh, make it water resistant. If I put it here, I can do that. If I put it here, I can also do that. So I think I'm going to put it here. Put the wiring along here and then wrap it with an old tube like I had it on the original bike. First thing I'm going to do with the old controller though is take a little bit of this insulating tape These will prevent the metal from the controller from scratching the frame of the bike. Alright, now that we've got the controller put in place, I have to wire the throttle and the brake levers to the controller. So in order to do that, I'm going to run them along the existing cables to make it look kind of neat. And then I'll put some uh, wire conduit over, some plastic wire loom or split loom or whatever you want to call it. All right, so I have the brake and the throttle running down this group. Then I have the brake lever running down here, meeting up here. And then I have the group traveling back towards the controller here. Just temporarily stick this in place. I still have to put the split loom, wire loom, wire conduit, whatever you want to call it over that. All right, it's been a couple of days. I'm here at the front of the bike, and we can see there's a torque arm. If, you, if your kit does not come with a torque arm, buy one, because this is an absolutely necessary piece. Now I have to take the torque arm and clamp it to the side of the fork. So in order to protect the paint, I'm gonna use a little bit of duct tape and just wrap it around this bottom side of the fork. Now the other thing is when I put an e-bike wheel on the bike, there's some temptation to take the wheel and lift it up to the bike while the bike's on the stand. That doesn't really work because it's hard to get the wheel perfectly centered in there. So what I have to do is take the bike off of the stand and set it down onto the wheel. Once I have the wheel in place and perfectly centered, I hand tighten both sides. Then I use a wrench and I do a half turn per side. Half turn. Half turn. Just go back and forth, half turn per side.
tighten this up. Now that I have the wheel in place, I'm really excited to hook up the electrical connections and see what happens. All right, let's plug in these wires and see what happens when we twist the throttle. So we've got the controller installed, we've got the motor and the wheel installed, we've got a torque arm installed, we've got our throttle and our brake levers installed. So that's going to be it for this episode. The next time, we're going to hide all the wires, at least run them a little bit uh, cleaner. We're going to uh, waterproof the electrical connectors. We're going to build up the bicycle, which includes putting on a kickstand. I have these cool double kickstands that I've used in the past. I'm going to decide which one to use for this build. Going to put on some metal pedals with the toe clips, make it a little bit easier to uh, include some human power into the arrangement. And we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between the Chinese kit and the American kit uh, and using a good bike versus using a cheap bike. So I've done both builds and uh, there's advantages and disadvantages to either style. So thank you for watching so far and stay tuned for episode 3 of Project E-Bike Rebuild.